Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have new video for Redmi Note 5 Pro so guys now i have started covering all the custom rooms for Redmi Note 5 and today we have Resurrection Remix which is version 6.0 based on Android 8.1 so as you can see model name is Redmi Note 5 Pro Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 5th April 2018 and this is not official build it's an unofficial build so there are few bugs which I'll tell you but this can be used as a daily driver as I've been using it from past 3 to 4 days and I'll tell you what all things are working in this and what all things are not working along with that I'll also show you the benchmark results and do let me know in the comment section or put up a message on my Facebook page if you want a dedicated installation video for this device or not so now talking about this room as you can see the quick setting panel has been changed this is android p module which i'm using this will give you a new look because i don't like the stock look which comes on every room so i am using this one for this device and in this if you use that module the setting panel also changes and it looks similar to android p so if you want this then i'll put up a link in the description below you can download from there and install it this room comes pre-installed with Trebuchet launcher but I am using Pixel launcher which is based on Android P or we call it as double bubble launcher. Camera on this room is pretty decent and image quality was also good. I have taken few photos which I will just show you now. So this was a photo taken and the camera clarity was fine. There were no issues in the camera but the things like portrait mode or bokeh mode are still not working. In settings you get the basic customization options as you can see Resurrection Remix is known for its customization options which you can find it under configuration settings. So here you have customizations related to status bar, panels, quick settings, recents, interface, lock screen, buttons, navigation, animation, gestures and miscellaneous. So these things will cover later, I will cover only few things and rest you have the basic settings available like battery. Then you have display under which you can find ambient display which does not include always on display you just have a new notification wake up. Double tap to wake is not working as I just tried it and after enabling it as you can see double tap to wake is not working on this room but talking about fingerprint sensor fingerprint sensor is working fine and you can add multiple fingers under fingerprint settings. Under storage you have basic options security and privacy accessibility google under system you get gestures option which includes jump to camera so when you press the power key twice the device will directly open up camera application and sometimes you will find a bug on the navigation bars also if you tap these buttons it doesn't work so you just need to use an alternative button which is available now moving on to configuration here you have lots of customization options like clock and date in which you can customize the clock and date from here later part you have network traffic notification ticker battery in which you can change the battery shape or the icon if you want you can also enable the battery bar which will be displayed on the status bar then you have status bar weather brand logo so if you enable this you can keep it towards the left or the right as you can see resurrection logo is available if you enable this then you have status bar gestures which include brightness control and which works fine you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness by just sliding over the status bar then you have tap to sleep which works fine on the status bar under panels you get few volume panel settings and power menu settings then under quick settings you have quick pull down styles layout and you have advanced under recents you have few options of recent style and alternative recents like slim recents under interface you have lots of options to customize like system ui tuner fingerprint settings blur personalization you can also change the density pixel of the screen then you have head up notification and many more then you also have smart pixels option which will help you in saving battery let me change it to 80 and if you enable this you can see very less number of pixels are visible now this will help you in increasing the battery life then you have expanded desktop screenshot options you have in which you can choose a screenshot type which includes 
full screenshot or you can choose a partial area of the screenshot so let me show you now let's take a screenshot and once it is done you need to just select the area which you want to include in the screenshot and the screenshot will be taken then lock screen gives you a few options of lock screen ui button shortcuts under buttons you have power menu options volume rocker options which can be used to wake up the device then you have navigation buttons then you have animations which include system animation list animation toast and many other now comes the gesture option so this room also consists of gestures like what we get it on the stock room so just open this enable this and the navigation bars will be removed from the screen so now you just need to swipe up and the device goes back to the home screen and to use back navigation you can swipe from the right or from the left to go back so as of now these things are not working hope they get fixed in the official build then additionally you have gesture anywhere if you are not aware you can enable this you can also add gesture from here like if i want to open camera i'll add a gesture to open up camera application in this i'll select applications go to camera and i'll select c now i'm done i go back and on this bar i just need to draw c this will open up camera application then you have app circle bar if you enable this you get an app circle in which you can use any of these apps from any screen on the device after that we have miscellaneous which includes suspended icons and the best part is here you can remove the system apps which are pre-installed so guys these are the customization options now talking about the benchmark results going with geekbench application and under this results were 1319 in single core wherein multi core scored 4405 now going with antutu bench application in this scores are 1,14,868. Talking about battery life, I've been using this ROM since 3-4 days and the battery life which I'm getting over here is somewhere around 6 to 6 and a half hours which is not that great and hope the battery increases in the upcoming build. So guys, these were the things available on this ROM. If you have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And now I'll try to cover maximum ROMs for Redmi Note 5 Pro. So if you have any ROM which you want me to give a try, just put up a link in the description below. I'll check out that ROM. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like this video. And if you like this video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.